Hi, I'm Paula from Tri-State Sewing Back, and this is the FOP 150, Select 150, and I'm first going to show you how to oil the hook with your new machine. We've got sewing machine oil here, and I'm just going to put one drop right there, okay? Okay, once you've done that, now we're going to um, thread up the machine and wind the bobbin. You've got a little spool cover that came with it to go with that smaller spool of thread. We're going to slip it through here. You floss it with your fingers. Pull it all the way through like that. Then we'll slip it through here. And then the faf word is up. And you slip it through the crack. Come on. Okay, there we go. Set it down. Slide it around till it goes down push it over and then on the side here you hold the hand wheel and then turn the inner part of the hand wheel there that's the clutch you turn it a little bit to feel it click now we're gonna wind the bottom if you hold tight right here it'll spin it right off and once you've wound it full it will stop Okay, so once we've done that, <clears throat> now let me show you how to put the bobbin in. Again, the faf word is up. We put that inside, and then we slide that up through the crack there. Hold it with your fingers and slide it right in like that. And now with the top here, I just ran out of thread, so I'm just going to grab a different color here. Okay, so now we're going to put some thread on the top, and the Swiss mattressing doesn't have a notch. You don't have to worry about that, but we always like to cover it. Okay, so now we're going to floss it again, and making sure your foot is up right down here. The presser foot has to be up. Okay, so now we're going to floss it. We'll slip it through like this. Make sure you're not too close, because it'll get blurry. Okay, we'll always go down the right-hand side here, come back up and around. And then go from the left to the right. And then once you're done with that part, you don't have to floss anymore. Set the foot down. Make sure that you tighten up the clutch again. Turn it towards you to make sure that that clicks in. There's a thread guide either here or there, but that's how you want to do that. And then you will, there's a cutter right there. Thread the needle eye here. Let me try that again. Okay thread the needle and then the when you put in a new needle the flat side to the back and make sure that you use it with your thumb not a screwdriver okay so now let's go ahead and bring the needle down turning the handle one revolution forward till we bring up the bobbin thread once you've done that you can put the thread under the crack of the foot shut your door and shut your accessory tray and then let's get some fabric Okay, so now as we are going to test sew it here, the take-up levers on the inside here, make sure that you have your dual feed in place, which it is, and now you're ready to sew. Reverse. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. This is Paula from Tri-State Sewing Back. Have a great day. Bye.